Yes. As always, thank you for listening to Headbangers and Hooligans. It's yours truly, Scum Malicious. And I just got it. I had to do just a... Well, I'm going to try to make it a quick take on this whole fucking, you know, Motley Crue versus Steel Panther feud they got going on. Um, And I'm going to be a total fucking Steel Panther homer as usual. And... You know what? Motley Crue can go suck a big, fat fucking cock. I am so sick of Nikki Six and Tommy Lee. And I, I'm specifically talking about them, too, I guess. I mean, I, I guess this isn't really targeted towards Mick Mars or Vince Neil. I haven't really heard them say anything. But it's them two fucking ass maggots who just continually say stupid fucking shit. And I've got a lot of friends that are big fans of the crew. Um, they're okay. I've never been a gigantic fan of them. I do like a few of their songs. I just was never the biggest crew fan. Not saying they ain't successful or that they suck. I'm just saying I just wasn't a huge fan. Okay? But the whole fucking thing, and I guess this started a few years back. I mean, I remember reading articles, you know, uh, Motley Crue are a lot like Eddie Trunk. I think they all three, you know, I think Eddie Trunk fucks them and then they fuck him too. You know, they all fuck each other. That's why they love each other so much. And that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Men can love each other and fuck each other. I don't care. But the way they hug each other's nuts is kind of fucking sickening. Like, you know, Eddie Trunk, Mr. Fucking Know-It-All of fucking rock and roll. I don't get Steel Panther. It's a fucking joke, you stupid motherfucker. I don't like the way they make fun of fucking glam bands. They're not. Motherfucker, it's a they're a parody band, you stupid fucking moron. You know, you think Mr. Music Critic that knows everything, you know, like the drummer for fucking uh, Babylon AD, I think I've said that before, would understand what Still Panther is about. And even if you don't like them or think they're funny, you have to understand it's a fucking joke. And, you know... He doesn't like him, and then of course Motley Crue. I they never really liked him. Fucking, uh, I remember Sticks, the drummer, saying, you know, they all they felt uncomfortable when they uh, played some shows with him because you know what? I I I get it because they're fucking dicks, man. Tommy Lee and Nikki Six are two of the most thin-skinned motherfuckers in the on the face of the fucking planet. But the newest thing that's happened, of course, and I'm sure. Well, I say I'm sure everyone's read or heard about it. Maybe not. But it was a joke. They said, hey, they asked Michael Starr in an interview, and I can't remember the uh, the website or who it was that asked him this question, but he said, "Who? what rock star would you bring back from the dead? And he said, Vince Neil. It's a joke. It's kind of funny because, you know, the recent videos, if you've heard Vince Neil, he sounds like dog shit. I'm just being honest here. And it was kind of funny. Well, you know, fucking uh, Nikki Six is like, well, fuck them. They're a bunch of fucking backstabbers. And then, you know, Styx says, how are we backstabbers, you know? You have to actually like somebody in the first place or something like that. So they've been going back and forth. But what's funny is Steel Panther just recently uploaded a video because, you know, Nikki Six is like, fuck you, man, fucking ripping on Vince Neil. There's actually a video, video footage from 1994 of the band with when I believe, uh, what's his name was the singer? Karabi? Was that his name? John Karabi when Vince Neil was out of the band? Where they're fucking ripping on Vince Neil. Calling him a fucking blubber butt and a beached whale. You know, he was in an in, you know skiing accident or something. Fucking ripping on him. So who's the fucking backstabber there, Nikki Six? You know, and I, like the whole thing with Godsmack when he was fucking fighting with the lead singer of Godsmack, you know, and I, I'm not a huge fan of Godsmack, but I get it now. He is a fucking little bitch. Shut the fuck up. Okay? You know, they made the movie The Dirt, and it's kind of giving you a comeback. I mean... I really like their first album, and I like Shout at the Devil, and after that, they're okay. That's just my opinion, okay? And I know they have a ton of fans, and but 
Just shut the fuck up. And Tommy Lee's a fucking douche, too. Mr. Fucking, all of a sudden, he's political. And it has nothing to do with the fact that he's liberal. I don't care about that. I think I've made that very clear about when it comes to politics. But for him to talk about all the shit that he, he talks about, but he needs to take a look at himself in the mirror and look at all the shit that he's fucking done. Okay? He's been a gigantic piece of shit when it comes to women. You know, but he wants to talk about, out, you know, you know, conservatives and the way they act and all that shit. And he's entitled to his opinion. But, listen, take a, lo- take a look in the mirror, you fucking ass maggot, and see, uh, and remember all the stupid shit you've done. Okay? Fuck, man. But, like, I am seriously sick of fucking Motley Crue. Shut the fuck up. You know, and you can't take a fucking joke. Satchel absolutely fucking blows any of you motherfuckers out of the water. None, none of you motherfuckers can play with Steel Panther. And Vince Neil, trust me, cannot sing like Michael Starr, okay? So, you know, like I said before, suck a fucking giant cock. Shut the fuck up. You know what? Okay? Girls, 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 that, nah. <laughs> Fucking douchebags. You know, you know, I'm a dreamer, but my heart's a gold. I had to run away high so I wouldn't come home low. That's what I'm talking about, huh? Just magnificent fucking lyrics. But, uh, that's just my take. I just, shut the fuck up. Okay, Steel Panther is going to win these little these little bards back and forth. You know they are. That's just they're going to win. Okay, just I'm just saying you better slow your roll, Motley Crue, or you'll you'll end up getting a weenie ride from maybe Lexi Fox. All right. Yeah, got another podcast coming later. Some more shit I got to get off my chest. All right. You know how I do this. Take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. I'm out.